Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, I wanted to shoot another follow-up to these uh, Technicolor pixels. Um, this is one of the submergent tests that I've been doing on these things. Um, so you can see I've just got a little tub of water here. Um, these have been sitting in there for about a week now, um, just running continuous. Um, I've also got from the freezer here um, a string. These are uh, one of each of the different types of lenses, um, both the threaded and the non-threaded. Um, and these are just frozen in a, a solid block of ice here. Um, I left the pigtails out so I could plug these in and verify if they work. I've also done um, submersion tests on these uh, three pin connections. So um, Here you can see all the nodes are running in a solid block of ice. So the lenses definitely do um, help squeeze the top of that LED and make sure that they're you know just really really solid really watertight um, but you know as you can see from from this string here um, it's not uh, not an absolute necessity um, I mentioned I've I've tested these things out too what I've done is um, I'll actually instead of using the caps on these uh, when I water test these I just plug both ends in together. So, um, just take the connection, plug it together. It's got that uh, little uh, gasket in there to keep everything tight. Then I screw this down um, just to squeeze it super tight and then put everything back in. Um, and using that method, uh, every time I've opened up one of those, it's been dry. Um, I have not had any water intrusion at all. Um, through testing that. So, um, as far as, you know, anything else I can do, um, shoot me a message, uh, put some in the comments, um, short of freezing these things solid and, and soaking long term. Um, I do do a, a pressure test with one of the, I've got a five gallon bucket uh, that's got a, a tire valve stem that I can actually um, pressurize, and I've taken that up to about 10 psi. Um, to to do a pressurized uh, water soak, but um, short of, of what I've done, I don't know what else I can do to throw the book at these things to to make sure they work. Um, also, I'm not just doing these in ice um, because that's not what we have weather-wise here in Kansas and most other areas of the country. Um, we go through a freeze-thaw cycle, so we have a few days where it's freaking cold like this and everything's covered in a sheet of ice and then we have a warm-up. So what I've actually been doing with these is cycles um, where I'll freeze these solid like this and then I'll take it out and I'll let it thaw through the course of the morning and throw it back in at lunchtime and um, let it freeze again, take it out uh, in the evening time, let it thaw down and throw it back in in the morning. Um, so these, this particular string's actually been through about a dozen of those freeze-thaw cycles now um, just to to try to continually uh, mimic what these are going to go through when they're sitting outside in the winter time so that's it as far as uh, my IP tests on these um, like I said if you got any other ideas or want to see something um, put it in the comments and I'll give it a shot